I'm standing in one of several food collection points that we have here at our church at Leesburg Methodist. You see, our church runs a food missions ministry in which we give food out to people in our community who need it for various reasons. We made the decision a long time ago to begin this ministry to give back to our community. It was a decision that the church made to be selfless and not selfish. It was a decision that the church made to care more about the needs of others than say how this was going to affect their bottom line or how this was going to affect what their church looked like or the people who would be around our building. It was a decision that the church made to be able to say, we want to help. And our Sunday evening youth Zoom gatherings, we have been involved, we have been in a study geared toward decision making, helping us make better decisions. And this just isn't you, this is me, this is all of us, how we can make better decisions. And this past Sunday, we talked about test number five of six that we can do to help us make better decisions. And it was simple. The test we looked at was called the influence test. And the question that is associated with that particular test is very simple. Is this decision I'm making benefiting other people? Is this decision that I am making helping others? You see, just like this church made the decision many years ago to begin a food missions ministry, we make decisions every day in our own life that are self-centered and selfish. God desires us to always be looking out for the interests of other people. Excuse me, for the interests, interests of other people. He wants us to care for those who are having a hard time caring for themselves. Listen to a couple of scripture passages this morning about how the influence test matters, about why it matters. In Romans chapter 14, verses 12 and 13, the Apostle Paul writes this to the Christians in early Rome. Each of us will give a personal account to God. So let's stop condemning each other. Decide instead to live in such a way that you will not cause another believer to stumble and fall. You see, Paul wanted the Christians in Rome to understand that they had as big of a part to play in the faith development of other Christians as they did in their own faith journey. Paul wanted them to realize that you needed to stop spending time putting other people down. Instead, lift them up. And he actually went a step further in one of his other New Testament letters. This was to the church in Philippi. In Philippians chapter 2, verses 1 through 4. Listen to me as I kind of paraphrase this particular passage. Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves. Don't look out only for your own interests, but take an interest in others too. You must have the same attitude and mindset that Christ Jesus had. Wow, what an incredible passage that we can read. Paul is saying, look, be humble. Put the needs of other people before you. When you are forced to make a decision between something that will benefit only you or benefit 
an entire group of people, lean this way. I mean, I love sports, hence by the Braves cap. If I had a choice to make between going to a Braves game at a pretty good seat or spending that same amount of money on helping someone with a bill, with food, with something, I pray that the Holy Spirit inside me will convict me to make that choice, to help people. I pray that the Holy Spirit does the same for you. There's one more scripture verse we want to take a look at this morning. It comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 18, verses 1 through 6. And again, I'll be paraphrasing these verses for you. Jesus is talking to a crowd of people. And that's, that's where this, this teaching takes part. Listen to this. One of the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Who is greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Jesus called a little child to him and put the child among them. He then said, I tell you the truth, unless you turn from your sins and become like little children, you will never get into the kingdom of heaven. So anyone who becomes as humble as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Now listen to these last two verses. Anyone who welcomes a little child like this on my behalf is welcoming me. But if you cause one of these little ones to sin, it would be better for you to have a large stone tied around your neck and be drowned in the depths of the sea. This is unheard of. I mean, Christ is in no way saying that. He values all life. What he is saying is that you don't need to do anything to anyone that would cause their faith in our Lord to decrease to stop our role should always be focusing on how we are lifting people up as a matter of fact we are lifting people up so much that even in this time of social distancing and self isolation our church is still finding ways to serve. They're taking that food that's in that room and in other locations around our church and they are still serving people outside. Do you see that? Let me see if I can step out of the way. There you go. They are still serving people outside. I pray that you begin to make decisions that will influence others, that will help others, that will serve others. Instead of being selfless, selfish, instead of being selfish, let's start being selfless. Let's pray. God, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for this time that we were able to spend with you. And we just ask that you help us to be better representatives of your kingdom to be better reflections so that your light comes to us and we reflect it out through how we serve other people. Help us to make better decisions. Help us to use the influence test to impact the lives of others. It's in your name that we pray, amen. Thank you for joining us on this latest video devotion. We hope to see you again next time.